What's up guys? Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. I'm in Whistler, just about to head up the mountain. And today, I'm going to test out the differences between traditional camber and rocker snowboards. The difference between a camber and rocker board is, for camber, imagine your board lying flat on the ground. The camber arches the board so that the center is raised and your nose and tail are touching. And the rocker is the opposite, kind of like a banana where if your board was flat, the nose and tail will be raised off the ground with the center touching. The two boards that I'm going to be riding today are the Burton Process and the Burton Custom. The Burton Process is the traditional camber board with a flex rating of 4. The Burton Custom is a Flying V hybrid board, which means that it's rockered on the nose and tail in between the bindings and regular camber underneath the bindings. To compare the camber versus rocker, I'm going to put the boards through five tests. Basic turns, flat and narrow runs, carving turns, ollies, and butters. For the basic turns test, the rocker board it felt like it was turning really quickly, but then at the same time, once the turn came around, I felt like I didn't have as much control because the edge of the snowboard wasn't in full contact with the snow. And for the camber board, the turns were coming around slightly slower, but then when the turn did come around, I felt like I had lots of control because the entire edge of the board was helping to slow me down and control my speed. For the basic turns, I'd say the camber board has the advantage because when the turn comes around, you just feel like you're in a lot more control. For the straight and narrow run test, I found like I just had much more control with the camber board rocking from the heels to toes and keeping my board straight. There wasn't much difference, but I did feel like with the camera board, it was, I was just more in control and felt more comfortable. Where with the rocker board, I felt like it wasn't as smooth and controlled going from edge to edge and just felt like I had a bit less control. For the carving test, I felt like the camber board was much better. You could lock your edge into the snow and carve a couple turns around very easily. While for the rocker board, I felt like it was really difficult to hold my edge in the snow and hold a complete carve without the edge sliding out. So hands down, camber board much better for carving. The fourth test was the ollie test and with the camber board I felt like I could get a good pop off my tail and then for the landing, landing control and do a few turns to control my speed. For the rocker board, there was still some pop in the tail to get the ollie up into the air. Definitely not as much as the camber. The biggest difference I found ollieing on the rocker board was actually the landing. I just felt when I landed I had less balance and I was in less control of my board. I'd have to say the winner for the ollie test is definitely the camber board. The final test was the butter test. With the camber board, I could still get into the butters pretty easily, doing the butter 180s and butter spins. 
With the rocker board, the presses were easy to get into as well. I'd say a bit easier than the camera board. Yeah, I could still do the butter 180s and butter spins pretty easily. I'd give the slight advantage to the rocker board on, on butters. Cool guys, so after putting the boards through those five tests, I'd have to give the advantage to the traditional camber board. I just felt like overall it was, you know, easier to stay in control, better for turning and carving, better for getting pop out of the board for ollies. It was still decent for doing the butters and presses. I'd recommend if you're looking for a board or if you're just getting into snowboarding, check out the traditional camber board first. I think it's gonna set you up to progress faster. It'd be awesome to hear your comments about the camber versus rocker and what you ride and what you find are the pros and cons. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, guys. Have fun out there riding, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.